Oh, here it is. The cleaning station. That's it? That's the cleaning station? There's nothing there. And what's the little Remora doodle sticky head doing? Oh, he's just waiting for a ride. A Remora swims around like that until he finds a new shark to hitch on to. Incoming shark! <gasps> oh, and she's a big one. Looks about five and a half meters. That's the largest predatory fish in the ocean, right there. But what is she there for? What gets cleaned at these cleaning station doohickeys anyway? She does. Yeah, check it out. And he's the guy that does the cleaning. Well, him and his buddies. Cleaner fish! Hmm. Oh, and she's pulling into the station. The body position. It's telling the cleaner as, please clean me. I may be a shark, but I won't bite, promise. And the fish version of a dentist says, no problem, that's what I do. They're picking parasites from the shark's teeth and mouth. For them, it's food, so it's a good deal. Sharks, rays, and all kinds of fish line up at these cleaning stations. Suckerhead's making his move. He's on. We better get in there. Okay, here we go. Hey, Sharky. Sharky? Uh, how about Razor Mouth? Look at those teeth. Yeah, well, whatever. Sharky, Razor Mouth, just go easy on us, big girl. Just want to find out more about you. Whoa, you can see new rows of teeth coming in behind the old ones. Oh, yeah, those teeth never stop coming. We only have two sets of teeth and that's it. Sharks, just keep growing them. Ah, and look, sharks get loose teeth too. Look, got it. Wow, they're serrated with those super sharp ridges on the edges, just like a saw. Those teeth are serious slicers and dicers. Chris, look out, we're drifting. Oh no, a current, it's pulling us off course. Yeah, and on course to be her main course. I hope she's not hungry. If she is, we're about to be shark bait. Whoa, please don't close your mouth. Please don't close your mouth. Uh, woo, close one. Time to meet this mission head on. Engaging head sucker place. Steady, steady. We're about to make contact. Three, two, one. Yes, we've landed. The first successful mission onto a great white shark in the history of creature adventuring. Yay, we did it! Mission control to Remora Sub. Well done, guys. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, we're, we're stuck, stuck on, on sharks. sharks. Ah! It looks like they're heading straight out to sea. I wonder where she's going. It says here that scientists have recently discovered that great whites travel long distances to get to different places for food. Me too. The trek from the couch to the fridge wears me out. <laughs> I mean really far, Jimmy. Sometimes over 19,000 kilometers. That's a quarter of the way around the world. In fact, there may not be as many great white sharks as people think. It might just be the same sharks moving around the world all the time. Well, wherever she takes them, I just hope my Remora sub can hold on long enough to uncover the secrets of the great whites and find out where she's headed. There he is! Whistle! We found you! Come on, click! Let's go! Let's get him! What's wrong? Okay, fine, I'll get him. Oh, that's what that little click whistle meant. Couldn't he have just said, SHARK! So fast, so maneuverable. I'm like a torpedo. Guess I was too much for him. Uh. Oh. Whoa! Whoa. Oh. Uh oh. Just kidding. Nice sharky.
What are you up to now? Buddy, you're acting strange. Why are you stuffing a sponge into the sand? A dolphin who likes to clean up? That's a first. Weird. It's almost like she's poking around for something. Looking for something. Hmm. Echolocation engaged. Who can find it first? Whatever it is. But sand underneath more sand. You sure there's something around here? Amazing! That sponge she uses is to protect her nose when she shovels in the rough sand. Hey, I was just about to find that fish. <laughs> Communication alert! We're having trouble getting a read on Martin's location. I had a signal, but it's disappeared. Disappeared? How is that possible? I don't know, but last I picked it up, it was to the east. Let's head in that direction, see if we can find him. Yeah, we'll spread out. I'll head this way with an echolocation search. He's still out there, Whistle. Yeah. I know, sharks and orcas. They're your only natural predator, especially for baby dolphins. Oh, I'm still not able to transmit from inside this wreck. Maybe if I could just get out in the open a little bit. Whew. Or maybe not. Oh, so much for my creature pod. Oh, good idea, Whistle. Maybe dolphin communication will help us get out of here. Let's just hope someone hears it, and soon. Well, it looks like we're getting a turtleback tour of the reef. Hey, there's Blimpy the Blowfish. Oh, yeah. And our old buddy Ocean Pony the Seahorse. And hey, there's, uh, I don't remember him. Yeah, that's because he's somebody new. A, a tiger, tiger shark. shark. Whoa! But I'm gonna name you Shield. But how long can Shield keep this up? Look at these teeth. Based on size, Tiger Shark's jaws are even stronger than the Great White Shark's jaws. If that shark gets the shell in his mouth or a flipper in his mouth, Shield is done for. Shield has another plan. I hope so! Whew! That was close! <sighs> and another great defense for the Hawksbill sea turtle, hiding in the reef. Yeah, and that's why Hawksbills are reef turtles, so they can use the coral reef structure to feed them and hide them. Yeah, the shield defense is great when a hawk's bowl is caught out in the open, but the surefire plan is to hide out in the protection of the reef. Hey, Aviva, did you catch that turtle power action? <laughs> oh yeah, they saw it. So, Aviva, you up for a little turtle power suit programming? Uh, yeah, that was incredible. Nice shield work. I never knew sea turtles were so maneuverable. We saw it all thanks to the amazing fish cam. Hey! I guess I made the fish cam a little too fish-like. Maybe a little. <laughs>